What's going on guys? I'm Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we have special guest Randy. So we got Danny and Randy and uh, Randy's with G4 Outdoors. If you don't know, go check out his channel. He's got a very good uh, talking about anything and everything outdoorsy. So uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting guys. You should <laughs> go check that out. But anyway, today we're here to talk about the, uh, the matchup between the DeWalt tire inflator and the Milwaukee tire inflator. And uh, we're gonna go over some pros and cons and let you know what we found out during our testing and things of such of that nature and which one we think the better value is for you. So uh, let's get started here. So uh, we're gonna go over some pros and cons here of which one we honestly believe is the better product uh, for your money, more bang for your buck. Uh, we're gonna go over pricing, we're gonna go over battery life uh, from what we could tell and things of that nature. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, we're, we'll start with the DeWalt here. Uh, so, you know, coming from the DeWalt standpoint, it is heavier, it is 5.5 uh, pounds. You touching my hand for uh, it is 5.5 pounds but you do have the uh, cool little guard that holds all the holes in place plus if you don't have a battery uh, then you do also have the 12 volt charger that you can plug into your cigarette lighter I want to stop you right there and just talk about the cigarette lighter portion of it Milwaukee does not come with any spare uh, electrical inputs so if, if if you've aired up a tire, if you've been working on your mowers, you've aired up one mower, you're down to a half battery, then you find out that your car tire is down or whatnot, you only got a half battery to run that up is with the DeWalt. It comes with an external power source where you can plug this into your vehicle. So you're unlimited on power source there. Right, well, they, they also do sell a uh, 110 that you can buy for this as well. So if you wanted to use it in an in a outlet, then you can buy that separately but uh you know it does come with 12 volt but you can buy a 110 for this as well or use the battery and the thing about it is, is you can use any 20 volt so i can get a flex volt battery 60 volt uh you know with a nine amp hour and throw it in here and use it or i can use a four amp hour just regular dewalt battery uh so that's a that's a big thing for this yeah but i mean for it to uh also come with all the needles to air up volleyballs, basketballs, things of that nature. Your air mattress, you can air your air mattress up, deflate your air mattress. It'll air tires up, deflate your tires. Uh, I really like the turn knob on it. I really love that it has a flashlight on the end as well. So you have a button that if it's nighttime, you press this little flashlight and uh, it lights up. I really like the LCD screen as, as well. I mean, there's just a lot I like about the DeWalt. There is, and uh, the light on here is a safety feature. Uh, I carry a flashlight everywhere I go, but I can see a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't uh, put that in their their daily carry. But if you pull this out of your truck and you can't see exactly where your air nozzle is. Here, let's throw a battery in there for you. <clears throat> Cut a little bit. There you go. So you just slap a battery in there and Nothing. Hopefully you can grab a good battery. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn it on. All right, turn it on and, and then you have a flashlight right on there. Uh, I'm not seeing it shine at the camera, so it's not a directional light, it's more of a floodlight, but you can de definitely get in there and see exactly where your air nozzle is. And uh, it could be a safety device just sitting on the side of the road letting, you, letting other people know that you're standing there. So. There's a lot of components on this that I really like. I really like the Milwaukee too, though. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's. Yeah, the Milwaukee, uh, the Milwaukee seems to be more accurate when it comes to uh, tire pressure. Uh, as we found, I would say this is probably 0.5 psi or so off going from 
uh, 10 PSI tire airing it up to 35 PSI the Milwaukee seemed to hit it right on the money I mean it was pretty accurate now this goes from 0 to 120 PSI uh, as a max and the DeWalt goes from 3 to 160 PSI as a max and another thing we found out is even though this is small and only takes an M12 battery it packs a big punch to be as small as this thing is because it aired up a, the same exact 25 extra PSI in 25 what it was around 25 seconds 30 seconds less yeah if you go back to the other videos we'll have uh danny's got a review on the dewalt and a review on the milwaukee go back and check those out you'll find the times on each one of these but i'm going to say let's just average it out uh this one aired the tire up 30 seconds quicker 10 pounds to 35 pounds this did it 30 seconds quicker at two minutes and 48 seconds so this one ran over the three minute mark downside of that is this used more energy to do it but there was more umph in it when it did it so but once again it does not come with the 12 volt option it does not come with the 110 option uh and i'm gonna be honest with you you spend uh let's talk price point real quick mm. 69 dollars tool only uh, then you go buy a uh, one and a half amp hour M12, you're looking at 50 bucks. You buy a two amp hour, you're looking at 60 bucks. A three amp hour was right around $65. So wait a minute, we're over $100? Over 100 bucks. And that's, now let's talk about the two amp hour battery. Let's, so let's say you buy this for, six, for 70 bucks. Okay, and then you buy an M12 battery because you don't have any, as myself, I didn't. I bought this with my own money uh, strictly for this. Um, and so uh, I wanted to see which one was better. I wanted to see which one was better for y'all. Like, so I did buy this with my own money. So you're looking at 70 bucks, tool only. Then for a two amp hour battery, I got a two amp hour battery. You're looking at 60 more dollars for a two amp hour battery, so you're already at 130 bucks plus tax. Hmm. Now, does this one start at $100 with a battery? This one starts at $100 with a battery. <laughs> so this is $99, uh, and it, you, it comes with a one and a half amp hour battery. Now, I do not have a one and a half amp hour battery. Uh, the smallest battery I have is a four amp. We've got a five amp in it now. But I will tell you, running this with the two amp hour battery, that uh, after airing his tire up 25 PSI, fully charged battery straight off of the charger. Um, and now mind you, this is a brand new battery. I charged it and we put it in here. It went from full to half. So it took half of two amp hour battery to air up 25 PSI. So uh, I would recommend Hopefully you having bigger batteries or something, uh, multiple batteries, if you plan on using this uh, quite a bit within a day because it's gonna eat through the batteries. Absolutely. But you can get a six amp hour battery for 99 bucks. So your best bet is, honestly guys, if you decide to buy this, your best bet is to buy the six amp hour battery uh, for the M12 for <laughs> batteries dying on the light uh, for $99 because a 3 amp hour costs you 65 so you're saving money uh, for that and if you buy 2 amp then you're at 60 bucks uh, or no I'm sorry uh, yeah 2 amps at 60 bucks so you know that's 3 times the amount for 20 bucks less over time so you know uh, actually it would cost you more than that it cost you 180 bucks for 3 2 amp hour batteries or you can just buy one six amp hour battery for ninety nine dollars. That's the smart thing to do. You lost me with two num too many numbers. All I know is one hundred and twenty dollars to get this thing started. Let's switch out batteries. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And you would never know because it's going to be that quick. Uh, so we got the batteries charging. Got the light changed out. Back to these. Uh, so best bang for your buck. Let's talk about best bang for your buck. Can't tell you how long this will last on a 1.5 amp hour battery because I do not have one. Uh, we used a four amp hour battery and I will tell you that even after airing the tire up, it didn't touch the battery life of it. So, 
that should tell you something. Um, but uh, this thing drained the battery. But you know, to each its own. Uh, when you're talking about price, depending on how good that 1.5 amp hour battery is going to do you, well, over Christmas time, they had a special on these for, uh, I think they were $79 and they came with two 5 amp hour batteries for 80 bucks oh, with a charger. Whoa. So, yeah. That's a steal. Um, so I know a lot of people, I posted a video about that of you know my top 10 items over Christmas. So you can catch these on a real good deal with higher amped hour batteries. So you just have to be watching for things like that. And uh, actually closer to the end of this month, Home Depot will start having a spring, what they call a spring Black Friday. And uh, I'm not sure what all they throw in that, if DeWalt or Milwaukee's part of that, but usually they have a lot of things on sale. So that may be a good time to go check this out and see if it's on a special buy or the Milwaukee one out if you choose it and see if it's on a special buy. I have not seen Milwaukee uh, don't quote me on this. I'm sorry if, if you if they have, but I have not seen Milwaukee bundle this with a battery. Uh, something I want to check out real quick. Uh, why don't you whip out your hose? Oh, we're looking pretty close. One right. inch. Yeah, One maybe. Inch. Just while I'm thinking of that. Uh, what accessories do you got on yours? Uh, I've got a tire needle, or right. a needle. A basketball needle, is that what Yep. All right, yep. And basketball then I've got, uh, I don't even know what this thing does. All right, that. To be honest, I have no clue. Screws into something. I, I have no what clue what this little thing is. You got uh, I, oh, do wait, have, I got one. I do have one of them too. Mine's brass. Okay, your, yours is brass, mine is plastic. And then I, I do have one of these, but mine seems to be uh, a little smaller. <laughs> so yeah and the holes smaller as well so his is flat mine's got a rounded end but uh you know you're talking about they they call this a compact uh tire inflator and so you, you know you've got all those do you have got everything do you have one of these hoses for <clears throat> camping i do it's right here on the wall all right so that has the DeWalt has an input and an output. Uh, like, like you said, you can air up your mattresses or you can deflate your mattresses if you've ever been camping. You know that when you go to roll up your uh, blow up mattress, that it does help to suck all that extra air out there, out of the mattress, that way you're not kneeling on it, you know, just crunching it up and squeezing it all out. Suck it all out, I'd prefer to do it that way. I actually do that with vacuums, but uh, if I could purchase this item here, this would be great, not only to keep in your vehicle, but recreational. I, I... Right, yeah, this is an all around multi-purpose, just about for anything you need, you would need it for, it'll do. Um, and it's handy that it comes with a flashlight, things like that. Both are great tire inflators. I have to say that uh, when it comes to accuracy, Milwaukee definitely has the accuracy. Uh, the DeWalt seems to be off about five tenths. And you know, when you're going from 30 to 30.5, I guess that's all up to you whether it matters or not. But uh, one thing you can count on with the Milwaukee is it is pretty dead accurate uh, whenever you talk about that. Both have LED lights, so whenever you're looking at them, they do both light up. Uh, I do like the, I like both lights, honestly. I really can't say I hate one compared to the other uh, because I really, I don't. Um, I really like that when I'm airing up, both moving in 0.5, guys. So whenever, you, whenever you've got these on, uh, you know what really, the battery's gone. Yeah, we, we need a battery. We needed a, we needed a light. <coughs> let's, let's grab a battery for it here. Right, yeah, we had to take that battery and put it in the light. Um, but both of these have real nice displays. This one seems to be, they're both real nice displays. Like, I really can't say nothing bad about them. Like, I really like, Milwaukee's display looks just top of the line display to where DeWalt's kind of looks like, 
you're using the old Mario watch. <laughs> you know, with the calculator. Well, that, that's a little bit interesting that you like that because I actually like this interface better than... Yeah, I, I like them both. Um, I'm not saying it one bad but i mean when it no, comes this, to this is very easy readout lookability yeah milwaukee has a very nice readout on it it tells you literally right here what your what your battery uh here we'll actually just come up here close to you here so uh it tells you right here what your battery is this is your target psi right here so you can you know this moves in ones or if you hold it down it'll move in fives so uh the one thing about and then, you know you have your inflate so uh this does not deflate as you cannot under does not deflate. it only inflates so uh <clears throat> let's get that straight right now um it does not deflate but the the dewalt one whenever you turn this knob this knob just feels like it's gonna break cheesy yes um everything else feels great about the dewalt but that knob feels like it would be the first thing to go now is it i don't know but I, this moves in 0.5 as well uh, but you have to turn the knob which means it's going to be way faster uh, actually i don't know you'd probably be able to do it about the same by the time you hold this up and it goes in fives and you're moving in ones on this you know i mean it go it, they both go pretty quick but uh i don't know they both have their their perks they both have their ups and downs uh, i'm just going to if i was to go buy one for everyday use and i had a bunch of m12 batteries of course i'd buy the milwaukee you're not going to go wrong if you do camping and you don't have a lot of batteries you can still use the charger um, you can still use it to blow up your air mattresses, deflate your mattresses, put air in your basketballs, volleyballs, whatever you really want to do. This is an all around thing. When it comes to best bang for your buck, DeWalt takes the cake. Uh, $99 with a battery. Like I said, sometimes you can catch these on sale for 79 bucks with two batteries. Uh, so, I mean, for everything you get with the DeWalt, it may be 0.5 tenths of a PSI off. I would personally buy the DeWalt over the Milwaukee if it was my personal money. And I don't even do, I don't even go camping a lot. But, uh, but when it comes to batteries, I have a lot more of the 20 volt batteries than I do these M12 batteries. And honestly, I don't care to spend $100 on an M12 that I'm only gonna use on this. Uh, to where I've already got batteries for my DeWalt tools. Now, if they made one of these that worked with their 18 volt line, uh, then that would be great. That would honestly be great. If they came out with something kind of like this, but kept their display, kept their Milwaukee features, then I'd probably buy the Milwaukee just because how accurate the thing is and I ain't got to worry about it. But uh, any last? That's about, I mean, we, we've really covered everything and talked about everything. And like I said, go back and visit the other videos on the individual air uh, compressors. Uh, no, I just think that this is a, a more multi-tool than what this is. Uh, this is made for one thing. Yeah. One and thing. one thing only. Uh, and that's for airing up your tires. And they actually throw in them features to air up a basketball or something of that nature um, to where DeWalt when they made their tire inflator they made it for all around do whatever you want type of thing and I think that was that was honestly smart on their part and uh, they brought it in at a price point that is $30 more than the Milwaukee so you know good job to both companies you both have a great product but best bang for the buck we're gonna to have to call the DeWalt the winner of this one. So. I believe so. Well, thanks for having me over for this review. Thanks for coming. Everybody, stop by G4 Outdoors, check out the channel. If you haven't, head over there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment on any videos, I'd appreciate that. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. 
Let us know in the comments below what's your thoughts between the two. Which one do you own or which one would you buy after seeing the review of each? So talk to you soon, guys. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you soon.